Welcome everyone to one more session in Lead Code Solutions tutorial series. In this particular session, we are going to look at the solution of problem maximum number of words found in sentences. But before we begin, let me remind you of the Edignite NGO server. This server has been created by Prince Verma sir, an alumni of Edignite NGO. So over here in this server, you can ask your doubts or discuss topics related to IT field. Okay, so you can uh, you can ask doubts and discuss topics related to IT field and also Prince Verma sir will regularly share some useful contents and updates from the same field. So this server brings like-minded people in the Slay platform. So if you are a computer science enthusiast or want to excel in your career in IT field, then do join this server from the link given in the description below and share it with maximum of your friends to uh, ensure more and more participation. So let us now move back to maximum number of words found in sentences. Okay, I have copied, okay, I have taken a snip of the code and I have pasted it in the whiteboard. So let's go to whiteboard and let us look at the question. Okay, so you see that first of all, we have given the uh, definition of uh, sentence. Okay, so sentence is a list of words that are separated by a single space. Okay, only a single space with no leading or trailing spaces okay now over here we are given an array of string sentences okay so this is array of string okay this is array of string that is sentences okay and over here over here i need to uh, i need to, this this represent sentence and we need to re, uh, return the maximum number of words that appear in a single sentence okay so over here as you can see that first sentence okay first sentence is one two three four and five words second one has one two three and four words okay and third one has one two three four five and six words okay so maximum number of words in a single sentence are six and thus the output is six okay so how to code it okay let us see how to do it okay so what we can do is here also we need to run a loop okay whenever there is a question related to array generally we need to run generally i am talking generally 90 percent of the times we need to use a loop okay so over here first loop will be for i okay over here uh, first we will analyze each and every string okay in the array sentences okay so let us say that we have a sentence okay i i am studying okay i am i am i am studying dsa i am studying dsa i am studying dsa okay so over here you see we have one two and three spaces okay so over here you see we have three spaces three spaces but we have four words okay we have four words so uh, we have three spaces okay so number of words okay number of uh, words are one more than spaces okay so this is a very important concept that we need to remember this is very simple but important okay otherwise our code may go wrong Okay, so what we can do is we can just count the number of spaces in each and every string. Okay, and we can have uh, an integer max. Okay, we can have an integer max, maximum number of spaces. A sentence with maximum number of spaces will have actually maximum number of words. Okay, so we can have a max that is equal to zero. If max is equal to zero, the number of words are equal to one. Okay. So, a string, assuming that a string will have at least one word, okay. So, over here, we can initialize max at 0, okay. We can initialize max at 0 and then count the number of spaces in each and every word, okay. So, over here, we can run a for loop, okay. We can run a for loop. We can write for, okay, for i from from 
zero to sentences dot size. Okay, from zero to sentences, 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 sentences dot sentences dot size. From zero to sentences dot size. Okay, over here. We can count number of words. Okay, we can also have an integer count. Okay, so let us declare an integer count over here. Here count is equal to zero, and then count will be equal to something. Okay, count count will be equal to number of spaces. Number of spaces. Okay, number of spaces. So we need to count the number of spaces first of all, and then count will be equal to number of spaces. Okay, over here I am just uh, making space for uh, for code that is to be written for count uh, counting number of spaces. Okay, so over here we need to count number of spaces, and then we can just write count. Okay, count equal to zero. Sorry, count equal to number of spaces. Okay, count equal to number of oops sorry, count equal to number of spaces. After we write count equal to number of spaces, okay. After we we do this, we just uh, we just write over here the oops I will just zoom in. Okay, so over here what do we do is we just uh, have a condition statement, conditional statement. Okay, so if if count if count is greater than max, if count is greater than max, then max will be equal to count. Okay, max, max will be equal to count. Right. So we have checked it. Okay, and we will at last. Okay, at the end of the for loop, we will get our maximum number of words. Okay, so over here, sorry, we will get maximum number of spaces. So to return maximum number of words, we need to increase the value of max. Okay, thus we will return max plus one. Okay, max plus one. Over here, we can also start max with one and then increase the value. Okay, at that point of time, we don't need to do max plus one. Okay, so this is this was the number of spaces, or we can start count with one and max with one. Okay, and over here for counting number of spaces, what we can do for i or for j, okay, j from zero to end, okay, to end of string, end of from zero to end of string okay from zero to end of string we can just write if okay if we can write s of i okay here it will be s of i s of i is equal to a single space is equal to a single space oops if it's equal to single space then we will increase the value of count okay then we'll increase the value of count so this way we can have a, a for loop okay we can have a nested for loop to count the number of words or count number of spaces and eventually count number of words so let us move let us move to our code okay and over here let us code the things okay so we have strings sentences over here we need to initialize to variable max and count okay into max and count now what do we need to do is we need to run a for loop okay for int i equal to 0 i equal to 0 then i less than i less than i less than sentences 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 i okay i less than sentences i i plus plus i plus plus okay over here let me write max equal to 0 max equal to 0 and after for loop let me return max let me return max okay now we can uh, we can code okay first of all we need to count the number of spaces so count it will be equal to 0 initial okay count will be equal to 0 initially and then we can run the loop okay so for int j equal to 0 j equal to 0 now j will be less than j will be less than sentences i dot size okay sentences the string at ith position and size of the string 
at ith position okay size of the string at ith position and j plus plus j plus plus i hope that you are getting my point clear okay let me zoom in a bit okay and let me move this now okay so j plus plus j plus plus and over here we will write if if sentences sentences i okay and jth character in sentences i is a single space if it's a single space remember that when we are comparing with a character okay then we give single quotations and in case of strings we give double quotations if uh, if we are interchanging if my mistake if we are interchanging it then we will get an error okay so do remember this thing in c++ actually so over here if sentences ij is equal to space then we can increase the value of okay we can increase the value of count and thus we will get the value of count okay let us now compare let us now compare the value of count with max okay so over here after one for loop we will write if if count count is greater than max if count is greater than max then max will be equal to count max will be equal to count okay max will be equal to count and then at last we are returning max okay now let us run the code and look if it works okay whoops we have a compilation error over here okay 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 so we need to write j okay and j less than this oh, no nope we we need to just write i equal to zero then we need to write i and over here we need to write sentences dot size okay sentences dot size so it was a, a silly mistake actually by me okay so let me run the code let me run the code and over here i have forgotten the the semicolon okay so it happens over here and let us uh, check it okay we have we have got five over here okay just because we are not returning max plus one but we are returning max okay so over here if we write max plus one then we will get the right answer okay now let us submit the code and let us check if it is getting accepted yes you can see that it's a success okay so this was about counting or returning maximum number of words from a string in array of strings. So that's it for this particular session. Let's meet in the next session. Thank you everyone.